Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Well guys, time for more of your photos, videos, and what we are seeing in the skies and perhaps in other dimensions merging with our dimension. We live in incredible times right now. There is, there's just so many crazy, wild, unusual things going on every single day. And uh, let's take a peek. We'll start out here with this video. And so there's always a difference between seeing a video and seeing a photo because I also have photos of this that we're looking at here. And, uh, you know, automatically I thought, well, you know, lens flare or some sort of lens reflection, but it, it appears to be solid. And, you know, I think, I think we have a ton of different drones in the sky and yeah a lot of them could be privately owned and you know I'm sure there are a lot but I think there's a lot of governmental drones in the sky military drones in the sky and perhaps even uh, <laughs> other sources as well so here you're seeing something that's up there You can see rel relative to the telephone pole. This has been hanging around here for weeks. It just shows up randomly and hangs out floating over my house. So let's take another peek at that one. So interesting, huh, guys? You know, um, we talk about targeted individuals, and believe me, I have been contacted by a ton of people that believe that they are targeted and watched. And one ways, you know, one of the ways people feel they're being watched is by drones, surveillance. You know, is that really the case? Is that what we see going on? Um, we have a lot of photos to go through, and just, I mean, check out this one right here. There's so many it in this one i also have a uh, a video to look at as well there's there's so many photos that show that the sun is not round and so you know many people believe there's a sun simulator up there and they're trying to block out the real sun with the fake sun and some will say hey, it's just distortion it's a refraction of light because of all the volcanic activity but, you know, here's a real clear day. You can see all these waves of energy. And, uh, you know, the sun looks really distorted, and even though it's a very, very clear day. And then you see this refraction around it. And there are many people that think we're seeing the Red Kachina or Nibiru when we see this ref refraction going on. And, you know, do share with me, because uh, so many of you guys saw things I didn't see in the last bunch at all. Um, and that's that's all well and good just you know definitely we need to work together we need to share our opinions do it respectfully as this family does because it's a beautiful thing as not all channels are blessed with such warm loving compassionate people as ones we have here So many unusual things in the sky. And uh, here's another video, this one on Facebook. Check out some of the lightning. So yeah, just wanted to show you this uh, lightning going on tonight. Caught my attention because um, the thunder sounded like something like a firecracker or a gun, not like a normal boom. And I've just been sitting here and it's, it's been going. So I was like, felt better catch some of this because Jesus. It's a lot of energy up in there. 
the thing just kind of formed and out of nowhere and just blew up. Beautiful look. Wow. Yeah, spectacular. We've seen some incredible lightning. Most definitely. And thank you guys so much for sending that in. And look at this one. There are so many interesting photos coming in. See like an eyeball staring right there. Weird shapes, weird signs in the sky. And here is one of the moon. And when you're looking at this, I'm looking back here and wondering what's that, honestly, is that just a star? What is that, that just a star that showed up? So many weird things with the moon. I know Richie from Boston was showing a video um, that he was thinking was showing two moons. And I mean, I just looked at it and I kind of wondered if it was a lens flare, but you know, you guys might want to check out Richie's latest on that too. And the usual colors. I don't know why, it just seems like everything kind of ha it just feels strange. Doesn't reality just feel strange now? It feels so different. Everything feels different. Some have said that time is changing. Some believe that we're already moving through the fourth uh, dimensional reality. Look at this one. Look at that the colors and the distortion on this. Taking some of the light out, I mean, it's if they're lining up the sun simulator in front of the sun, they're doing a lousy job. You know, it's so distorted. And obviously, we got the chemtrails trying to block it all out. Pretty wild stuff. And we have a, a real assortment of things this time through. So is this the moon hidden in the clouds? Is this the sun hidden in the clouds? Is it something else? So there's like three pictures of this object that they described as faintly glowing. And honestly, I look at that and I almost see like an E.T. head up in the sky. Perhaps an E.T. head with two little horns right here. Certainly that's, I don't know what that is, because it's the night sky. You know, you might say, well, it's just a wisp of a cloud. Is it? What happens if we take some light out, add some light to it? the clarity I don't know that's kind of odd I have no idea what that could be or the thing next to it here it's certainly strange to say the least that's another one that we're seeing and this is obviously during daylight so again is that the moon is that the sun? Is it one of the nemesis planets? This is that object again. Here it's kind of washed out.
that one more time. Looks like it wants to say hello. Almost kind of looked like a gargoyle head up there in the sky. So at first I looked at this and said, okay, it's the sun, yeah. And uh, then they, she sent a couple of photos. This is one of them. This is another pointing out what she's pointing to. And not that one. Oh, that's something else I gotta really ask you guys about. It's kind of crazy. Let's see. Okay, before I go back into that, someone. This is just weird, isn't it? You see these little lights coming over here? It's just odd. I mean, is that just clouds? And then also, can you see an angel in there? The sender sees an angel in there. What do you guys see? Okay, before we get to this one, let's go back up here. All right. So the sender said that these they took to be ships. And so what do you guys think? Do you think these could be ships? If we play with the light, take a little light out, they don't appear to change. If we add them add some light in, they don't appear to change. It doesn't appear to me like it's a ref refraction of light going on. So what are these things? What are these objects over here? Are these ships? There's the thought that the sun is not what we think it is and that it's also a dimensional portal so maybe there are ships coming through or you know using it as a portal. And there's also a thought, like you listen to Dr. Uh, Claudia Albers, that there are these stellar cores which are draining the sun of energy. And of course the sun would be a wonderful source of energy, and would ETs tap it for energy? For refueling, quote-unquote? Perhaps. It doesn't sound like it'd be illogical to me. And so what do you guys think? Are we looking at tons of ships? around the sun or are these just some sort of artifact distortion what do you think it doesn't seem like the light the amount of light has anything to do with these things whatever they are So what are your thoughts on this? Are we actually looking at, I guess there might be uh, hundreds of some sort of ship, ships or craft around the sun? What do you guys think about that? And so, again, this is one of the ones that she sent in. Now this is a different frame. And in this frame, you'll notice there's nothing there. Or maybe there's a little something way back there. But not like that other photo. So, different timestamp. None of those things located there. I don't know, that looks a little curious. But maybe you guys. And tell me that almost looks like the face on Mars. <laughs> Doesn't it? That's really curious as well. So, yeah, I mean, there's something interesting in that one too. And again, 
share with me what you guys think. And okay, so what's wrong with this picture, guys? Can you guys catch what's wrong with this picture? Is it just me that sees something wrong with this picture? And uh, let's take a look at, there's a couple of other ones here. Boom. And boom. What's wrong with that picture? Well, I mean, would the sun block out? The trees because I mean it almost appears to me like the Sun's in front of the trees is that some sort of weird anomaly does it not look like the Sun is actually in front of the tree where's the where's the branches strange so same thing with this one Does this say anything about our reality, or is this just the way it is? Is the light so bright that it's just blocking out the tree that's in front of it before the camera? This is not taken through a window. Is that just... Is that a normal optical illusion that it appears that the sun is in front of the trees? So please do tell me what you think about that one too. Pretty, pretty weird stuff. Here we have a beautiful double rainbow. This one's faint, albeit. And is this just a, a lens flare of the moon? Or, because this is very similar to what uh, Richie from Boston was showing. And I don't know, is this, to me, I would, I just looked at it and thought it's a lens flare. Is that the case? Or is there a second object around the moon? Look for your comments on that one as well. Faces in the sky. Do you see faces in the sky? As well as interesting colors for sure. And this is a still of that object that we started with. And so, you know, I would guess it's some sort of drone. That would be my guess on that one. And this is again from that video we watched. So you see chemtrailing going on in the background and this object that again I would guess is some sort of drone or you know some sort of UFO unidentified flying object. And that's the crazy sun. And so, on this one, you know, is it just, again, lens flares? How many objects are really throwing light here? Just one object? It's kind of interesting when you look at this, this. Hmm. Interesting. And another one. And so I, I saw this, at first I thought that 
Okay, was this taken behind a glass? Is that a moth on the glass? But no, it's actually like a piece of wood sticking up out of the lake. And so we see... It's almost like the sun has rings at times. And um, we're going to come to some that are curious soon having to do with that effect. And here's another one. My gosh, the, the colors just so beautiful. And yeah, another one, just a lens flare, perhaps. And so this, no, that's not a bug on a window. That's what it, I would have thought, but no, it's actually something up in the sky, and this is Germany. And uh, she said that this was most definitely not an airplane. She watched it again, probably some sort of drone. Maybe it's all for surveillance. This looks almost in shape, insect shaped. Very curious. And she said it was good size. Definitely a solid object up there. So what's your thoughts on that, my friends? And down in New Zealand. Look at the light, the way the light's coming off. Just looks so curious up here. Doesn't that look curious? And then here again we have something in this beautifully colored sky. What is that? First I thought, well, it's just is it just a little bit of a dark cloud? That looks really bizarre. Well, let's go bigger first. I don't know. It almost looks like some sort of being up there. I can almost see that as an Egyptian hieroglyphic uh, of a being up in the sky. That's really, really weird looking. Almost see like a head, a long arm, another arm, torso. It's just bizarre. It's really weird. Don't know what to make of it. Tell me what you think. And so, if you've seen this technique before, it's like reflecting the sky back down. And so, is this like Nibiru? and uh, the nemesis system right here, right next to the sun. And this was sent in by Karen. What's your thoughts on that, guys? And we got some Let's see if we go over here first. We'll end with that. So let's start over here. So this is from Allison over in Scotland. And, uh, you know, she does, and I've, I've shown some of her images before, she does a technique where it's a, it's a metallic silver bowl loaded with water. She stirs the water. There's a couple of crystals in it. 
and she will just see and ask if there's anybody here, any sort of spirit contact, and this is what we get. And the faces that come through are just amazing. So clear. So this is coming in water. I mean, how clear is that? Look at that face. There's the lips, there's the nose, there's the eyes looking right at you. Incredible, is it not? See, we, we have beings around us all the time. 24-7, 365. If you think you're walking, you know, alone in your bedroom, in your bathroom, and there's nobody around, you're wrong. There are. They're just on different dimensions. But there's beings around you all the time. Look at that. Look at how clear that is. And uh, it's just clear as day. Here's another one. Let's get this one right side up. There we go. You see that face so clear in there as well. See the hair, the eyes, the nose, the mouth. Oh, so clear. And this one. Again, eyes, nose, mouth. And then a lot of times there's different layers to this. So some of you guys might be seeing like another face. Like right here I see a tall, thin ET. Right here is the ET's head, long, gangly. And this one. And I'm wondering, I didn't ask her, but she has gotten Nikola Tesla in the past. And this looks a little bit like Tesla to me. I didn't ask her if that's who she was thinking of when she was doing this one. Look at the eyes, so clear. Looking back at you, a little mustache here, mouth, nose. Look at this one. This one's an ET. Pretty clear to see that face. And so this one. See different things in this. See a face right there. There's also a little ET face here. There's a lot of ET faces in a lot of these, and I think there is a lot of ET control around us, honestly, multi dimensionally. Multi dimensionally as well. And talking about ETs, check this one out. How clear is that? Look at those eyes, nose, mouth, skinny little body. Pretty wild, huh? And here's another. Look at that face. Pretty wild. Two eyes, nose, mouth. There's a face in there as well. It could be kind of E.T. like. And then you could also see a bigger face. This one's a little bit harder than C's than some of the other ones. And 
you see the face right there? Pretty wild. And it looks like there's another face in the background there. And there's from Brother Trevor. We're showing signs of the transformation of the earth. And we are also changing. Love from Brother Trevor. So my friends, as always, especially with these photos, you know, let me see and hear what you guys think. You know, Keep sending in what you're getting and we'll keep sharing. Uh, many people love this. Other people don't don't care about it at all. Um, but I do think it's fascinating, and I do think we're seeing a lot of stuff that's very, very unusual in our skies and also all around us as we're definitely changing. It, our whole consciousness is changing. The world around us is changing. This is a time of incredible change. So my friends, as always, like share, subscribe. I look forward to your comments. God bless my friends. Namaste.